Let's add some basic 2D light to a very simple game that we have. This game was created only using Visual Script and you can move a character around the screen, but there's nothing else happening. Actually, the trees are not even there. You can go over them because it's only a background, but it's gonna be enough for us to demonstrate this simple example. To start adding lights and shadows, I will first add a light to the kinematic body that we have here. This is our character. Let's add a channel and it's going to be a light 2D. Now that we have the light 2D, we need to add a texture to it. Without a texture, the light is not going to be happening. To make a texture for a light, you can use any image where the white is going to be the light and transparent is going to be the darkness. So in this example, you have like this kind of effect. I will provide a link to download this sprite that I'm using right now in the description. But I already imported it into the project and I have it here. So let's open the light 2D node and let's drag and drop the texture. You can see the size of it here. Let's add it here on the light. And as soon as I do that, you see that the image already gets brighter around where it is. So we have that working right now. The next thing you want to do is enabling shadows. So whenever you open this section, you can click here on enable and that's pretty much it. You can now add a new node, which is going to be a light occluder 2D. This is everything that will block the light and create a shadow. So let's build one here. So you can see there are new options here at the top of the editor. This means that we need to create a vector. We have a warning here, which is like you need a polygon first, you can draw it, which is going to be the occluder. Let's do the one for this tree. Let's say I'm going to start clicking. It will ask me, no polygon resource. Do you want to create one? Yes, let's create one. So I start clicking here, now here, and here. Okay, and I click it again to finish it. So now I have this polygon that I can modify anytime. And as you can see in the editor, I already see like a shadow. Um, so this is going to be the part that will create a shadow from the tree. So if you see here, I can move the character in the editor and I already see the shadow being drawn on this scene. I can move it away and you see that the sprite is going further and further and the, the scene doesn't have any shadow or anything. But now that I'm moving it closer, you can see it again and I can move it. So I'm going to apply the same to all the trees and I can do so by just clicking here and duplicating with control D and I can set the shadow to the rest of the trees. Like so, okay. And now let's create another one maybe for this entire house part. Let's create a new one, like Docluder 2D, clicking, create one. And now I will do something like this. Let's see, just a block. Okay, so that's gonna be for the house. Okay, so now if I run the game, you can see that all the trees emit a shadow. And if I move the character around, it's going to be casting the shadow on the Occluders. Also for the house, like if I'm behind the house, like I cannot see anything in front of it, like any light. And if I move in front of it, it will. Uh, so that's a very simple way of adding 2D lights and shadows. You can play around with it. There's a lot of extra options that you can touch. Here on the light, you can change the color of it. Maybe you want some red, you know, and or maybe like a green, it doesn't matter. You can also play with the occluders and maybe the last thing that you want to know is that this light here you have the item cool mask. This is a layer where the light is going to be displayed. So if you want some lights to be blocked by some elements and some others not, here if you see in the light occluder we have the light mask. This is the same layer as the light. So if I remove it I don't see it because it's not on the same layer. This will work if you want to add multiple lights and you want those lights to be casting different shadows in different characters. But I will let you play with that if you want. 
uh, that's it for today and I hope you like this small tutorial I would really like to thank my patreons and if you want to help me making more of these videos you can visit my patreon here and yeah see you next time